Today they're with Agri Spray Drones. The Agris T40 has been the number one spray drone in the world, especially here in the U.S. We sent out hundreds of Agris T40s and serviced hundreds of Agris T40s last year in the summer of 2023. These drones sprayed millions of acres across the U.S. and they have been the most reliable, most efficient, and easiest to use drones on the market. And now we have the big brother, or should I say, maybe the stepbrother, the Agris T50. As you can see, extremely similar drones. Other than our cheesy white props here to make them look different, you see they look almost identical. Radars in the same place, tanks in the same place, same basic design, same basic motors, same batteries, very similar spray system. Now, what is the differences here? That's what you guys are interested in. What are the differences between the most reliable and heaviest used radar on the market currently, T40, and the newcomer, the T50? Let's take a closer look. All right, let's start at the end right here, at the motors and at the props. As you can see, very similar, actually, the same. The same motors, the same props, different color, of course. Same pads here. Now as we move further down, you'll notice the difference, the ESCs. ESC here, ESC here. Now there's obviously a big difference in the layout and the size. Uh, we have no idea on the reliability, of course, of the T50 because the T40 ESCs have been very reliable. So we can only assume the T50 ESCs are improvement upon that. What I do notice is they are an improvement on modularity. Only two bolts on the ESC here, whereas there are four bolts on the ESC here. Now let's look at the front of these drones. As you can see, still very similar layout. Radars on top, lights, cameras, and the action. So what's the difference here between these two? Well, the band is obvious. Radars, quite a bit different size. You can see have about double the size of the radar on the T50 and about half the size. Now, this could be mostly air. We don't know that just yet, but we do assume that this radar likely is bigger for a reason meaning you have better uh, detection of obstacles on the T50. In addition, we have only two binocular vision cameras here, and we have four here on the T50. Binocular vision cameras aid in frontal detection of obstacles, depth perception, just like our eyes do. Cameras, obviously here, cameras are actually the same uh, cameras, same megapixel, tw both 12 megapixel cameras, just a different design, that's all it is. And they both go up and down on both drones. The cameras, even though they look different, are actually the same. Now, the other difference here that you'll see is the way that the hood is designed for access and for repair. The hood on the T50 is designed to actually flip down, just two bolts right here. So if you have to access the T50 to do any um, modular, mo modular replacement for the, um, you know, any of the, the, the front boards, then two bolts and then pull it out, whereas a T40, four bolts and pull it up. So a bit easier on this one to do some repair and maintenance. Let's move our way back on the drone. So right here you can see the connection on the frame to the arm on both drones is very similar. Uh, looks like about the same bracket actually. But what you'll notice is how the wires come in. So on the T50, our wiring harness goes at, from our computer here through the bracket itself and into the arm, whereas on the T50, the wiring actually goes through this side of the bracket. What this actually does is it reduces the amount, the angle uh, at which um, the wiring has to bend, which should actually decrease pinching. It wasn't really an issue on the T40 unless you actually repaired it, and there's one wire that could get pinched. So the T50 uh, would just reduce that instance there. The other thing here that will be kind of nice, especially for longevity and safety, is a locking mechanism. We've got a system here that you cannot unlock the arm unless you pull the lever then it unlocks. So this is going to be nice if this ever comes loose. As far as the actual clamping mechanism, the lock should hold it in place. On to the spraying system. As you can see, both have 40 liter tanks. It's called a T50, but it has a 40 
liter tank. That's 10 and a half gallons. Same as the T40, a 40 liter 10 and a half gallon tank. A bit different design and shape of the tank, but the same volume and the same system of measurement. Both mounted on scales on both drones. So we do think that'll be the same. Very accurate system on the T40, so it should be the same on the T50. The pumps, however, are different. So the pump motors are the same on both the T40 and T50, but on the T50, we actually have a bigger impeller that is uh, mounted, has an offset or side mounted outlet, which actually increases the flow rate on the T50. So we're gonna get a little over four gallons per minute on the T50, whereas we'll have about 3.2 gallons per minute output on the T40. And that's just with our two nozzles here uh, on both drones. So as you can see, that's the next piece of the puzzle here. How are these different? You can see very similar design. Rotary atomizers still have the dual disc. So we actually have a cover here and we have an under disc. So the liquid's gonna hit the underside of the disc, then hit the outside uh, disc next on both drones. So that is the same uh, concept in both drones, very similar design. Uh, what is different though, is we have a solenoid shutoff on the T50. Um, that means that we'll reduce our dripping. Um, so the T40, it's, a, it's fairly rare, but you do get some dripping that happens uh, with the shutoff because the mechanism actually um, is a spring-loaded mechanism where it springs down and then springs back up to close off and you're reliant on a, um, a, an O-ring or a water, rubber washer there, whereas this is electronic shutoff here. So not only would that reduce our dripping, but that allows us to actually be able to utilize a wider range of different style discs because we don't have to have that O-ring on the T50 disc. It is a simple well right here that goes out to our ridges and our disc. Last thing on the T40, which is a big one, radar. Not the front radar, the rear and downward radar. On the T40, you can barely see it. It's down here up underneath the battery. We have a radar right here pointing straight back and a radar here pointing straight down. So this does your rearward and downward obstacle detection and terrain following. Our T50, on the other hand, has a lower mounted omnidirectional radar here. This is the same as the T50 has on the front, just orientated horizontally. So this does your downward, rearward, and a little bit of frontward radar actually. So the T50 should actually have improved terrain following. So the T40 versus the T50, which is the better drone? Which drone should you get for the 2024 spray season? Well, in my honest opinion, they are both going to be very good drones. You see, we have a ton of experience with the Agris T40. We have more experience with this drone than any other drone that we've serviced and than any other company in the United States. This has been an incredibly reliable drone. Millions of acres have been sprayed and millions more will be sprayed in the 2024 season with the Agris T40. We have parts in stock and our technicians are trained on the drone, so we are very confident in the Agris T40. However, the Agris T50 is based off of the same design, meaning that everything we love about the T40 should carry over to the 50, minus a few things with the radar, of course, rearward radar and the pump, but those should be improvements. Higher pump capacity, four gallons per minute output versus 3.2, and better terrain following, at least hopefully that is yet to come as we test. We do believe with that rear radar, that omnidirectional radar, we will have better terrain following on the T50. So if your needs are to spray hilly fields at high volume, the T50 is an obvious choice. If you are doing two gallon per acre work, fungicide work on corn, it's a bit of a toss up in my opinion because we know the reliability here, we know the efficiency here. This is a bit of a new drone for 2024 season, but we do think it's gonna be reliable as well. Mm -hmm.